Have you used the materials panel in Photoshop 2023 yet? It's a great feature that adds zillions of amazing designs to any image. Whole range of different materials are available. You can go to window and materials, but you can also combine the results of this with a new feature or neural filters. I'm just gonna use one of these. There's loads and loads of them. I'm just gonna go for ominous. So click and as soon as that, it's applied. Very quickly, you get this very unusual looking material, but you could use any of the other ones. And also you can add thousands more just by clicking here. Loads of additional features available. And not only that, you've got properties here. You can change it. So you can turn around and say random C, just modify that and it will change it subtly. But you can also change repeat X and Y. And once you're happy with design, and I'm gonna go with that. I'm just gonna go with that with filter and down to neural filters. So filters and neural filters. And you of course can use any of the materials with this. Go down here to creative. Now you could use landscape mixer, it's pretty powerful, but I'm gonna go with style transfer. Just by selecting here, doesn't turn it on. You need to click here. So just click there to activate it. You can see it's activated. You can actually activate any of them, combine them in different ways. So if you want, just click there as well. So that one is in use as well. And of course you can apply presets, but I'm just gonna go with this one. Style transfer. With style transfer, You've got all these options here for artistic styles. You may have some three by default. You can download some additional ones. Really great little styles you can apply, as well as image styles, some really nice ones there. But you've also got the option for custom. So click custom. And there's option here. If you've got other open documents, you'll see along here you've got open documents. You can select those from this as well. But you can also select from the computer. So select an image from a computer and it can be any image. Now at this point, of course, I'm in the wrong place. So let's just go to my, and I'm gonna to go to my Photoshop images and I'm just gonna select one here. This one, nice colorful gradient design. This was created using a twirl filter used with combinations of multiple layers of a gradient. So once I've got that selected, use this image and it's 1,920. It can be any size. So you could have that 4,000 by 4,000. I don't know if there's a limit. Haven't tried it with super large ones, but use that image. You can modify the strength. Now it takes a bit of time processing. You can see down the bottom it says processing on device. Sometimes it can be very quick. Sometimes it can take a few seconds. And you can see the result, a very beautiful jewel encrusted, sort of very unusual design. And of course, you can see the colors here. You've got the blues, you've got the reds, all of those. Now, unfortunately, it does seem to create the same sort of style of line work. I have noticed it seems if you apply certain imagery, it does seem to create this sort of broken apart looking design. You may, may not like that. I'm not certain how you can modify these settings to change it. If you change like the detail, change other things, maybe it might have a slight different effect. But basically, I always think it looks much the same as that for many images. Let's just let process that. You can see the result. That actually has reduced it down slightly, made it sort of an oil paint smeary effect just by modifying the detail. And also you've got background blur and others. You can also, if you want, you can just crop a particular area. So you can just apply that. Say you want, say, the blues and the reds there, just that bit, and you can move it around or change mind. You might think, oh, I'll have the blues. You can just select that area. So instead of having all those colors, you will end up with just blue. So any image can be used in multiple different ways. Though if you create a thin slice, it does create a more smeary, blurry look and you can see the result there. You can just click it and remove the crop and it will apply it again. While it's active, you'll notice down here, the okay is not available. You can't just click and go off which is a pity, but that's the way it works. So there's that result. You can output it different ways. You've got here, new layer. So it creates a new layer, which is great, very useful. Now, sometimes different neural filters will have different options there. 
And I'm certain the current layer should be option available there as well. But for some weird reason, it is not. But you might notice different ones. Just pointing that out. You can also save it to a new document, which is very useful as well. But new layer, I think, is one of the more useful ones. So new layer. You can also send it to Adobe. You can turn around and say, well, I would love to see this or that. I'm not happy with this. I really like it. I don't like it. You can turn around to them. And obviously, hopefully, if enough people send feedback, things will be changed. Maybe modifications will be made and it will be tweaked. Even more features will be added. I'm just going to go with that. Click OK. And it creates a new layer. And there it is. You can see it. So layer and you've got your background layer as well, which is really useful because of course what you can do, you can always go to the layers panel. Let's just remove the materials now. Don't need that anymore. You've got that. You can turn around and say, oh, let's blend it. So you can say darken. So you can run through it. Just try out color dodge. I think that looks beautiful. Creates even more jewel like sort of design. So but you can run through those or change the opacity. Also, you can flatten it. So the whole thing can be flattened. So flatten image, and you've got that. And of course, you can go to image adjustments, modify it, levels. So you can just tweak it a bit if you want. Maybe do that, or maybe go to effects. Go to filter, and stylize, and oil paint. Creates a beautiful, I, this is just a gorgeous sort of like honeycomb, I, bees, I'm not certain. It's just, it's just really beautiful jewel-like design just created using that neural filter and obviously and you can use any image I've just selected one image but you can use literally thousands of images combined with these materials so more millions of different designs can be created abstract designs which of course you can always use in other imagery even though you've got this you can always use that as a source for maybe a wall design a background a poster design anything loads of possibilities with this feature. Hope you found this tutorial of interest. Any questions, please let me know in the comments below. Always great to hear from you. Thank you much.